Coming up next, it's a middleweight championship fight between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Joel Romero. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender for a long time. This man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now. He is healthy. He is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center, in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist and a professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting at a Coconut Creek Palora, presenting the challenger, Joel Soldier of God, Romero. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record on. 15 wins, no losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Israel, the last night of the day, Adesanya. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? 
All right, here we go. The wait is over. The UFC's 185-pound title is up for grabs right here, right now. Oh, he got it! And really starting to make these shots count. He is getting off some oh, huge punches here. Good punch. That's a big shot right there. Lands a punch. Postures up here. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I gotta say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. Nice kick. Big power in that kick. That shot blocked by Adesanya. Blocked all the shots coming towards his head. The soldier of God gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, power kick to the arms. Fainting with the punch. Just out of range with that punch attempt there, Joe. That one hurt. Beautiful. And he's looking for that left. Inside leg kick is there. That's a nice clean shot. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Good combination so far from both men. Doubles up on the jab. Oh, nice jab by Adesanya. Caught that one on the forearm. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Huge block there. Beautiful right leg kick there. Oh, nice jab by Romero. Able to check that kick as well. Kick to the body by Yoel. Flipped him with the jab. Head kick there blocked by Adesanya. Oh, he connects there. That hey. horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. And there is the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. Really good round there from Yoel Romero. Big knockdown. Very important, significant damage probably won the round. Here we see it from another camera angle. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Take a seat, bud. Relax, breathe, slow it down. Slow the heart rate down. You with me? Okay, listen. I need you to stay for a while. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Huge block there. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Nice 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, you're playing with fire there. He left the body wide open there. Oh. Wow. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got him hurt here. Body kick, look at that. Nice flying knee attempt there. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. Even when you block those, they'll still stun you. Trying to establish that jab once again. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. Oh, another He's one. got him hurt here. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Powerful jab. Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Here we see it again. Boom. And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. And Bruce gentlemen, Buffer with the official Eagle decision. That's why we stop for this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still. King of the 185 pounders, there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's gotta feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. <laughs>